Today, I'm answering four common metal roofing questions in five minutes or less. All right, first up, we have John who asks three questions. I'm gonna answer all of them. So first question, can metal roofing be used for houses with flat roofs common here in Arizona? So no, we don't recommend metal roofing on completely flat roofs. There has to be some type of slope in order for that water to shed properly. The minimum slope will depend on the profile and the installation technique. And the lowest slope panel Sheffield Metals offers is the two inch mechanical seam that can be installed as low as a half 12 with sealant in the seams. But that's a pretty big seam height for a house, so it really depends on your situation, what's right for you. And if you have a completely flat roof, then I'd look at flat roofing products. Do you need to use significant insulation and other methods to prevent heat transfer to the home? Metal roofing and metal roofing pigments have come a long way in regards to heat transfer. They do a great job of reflecting the sun's energy and not holding that heat for long periods of time. There are some installation methods and products out there that will allow you to raise the metal off the deck just slightly to create a thermal break, an air gap, add some insulation depending on the product. And we go into detail about this topic with Matt Reisinger, link is in the description. And remember, while these products will provide energy savings, they'll also drive up the cost of your metal roof installation, so keep that in mind. Can you guys talk about non-penetrating mounts for solar panels on standing seam in hurricane areas? Yes, there are manufacturers out there that make non-penetrating clamps for solar. We recommend S5 because they have engineered systems. They have a great calculator on their website that you can find out exactly what type of clamps and how many you need for your project. What is the difference between 26 gauge and 29 gauge metal material? Gauge is measuring the thickness of steel. The lower the number, the thicker the material and vice versa. So 29 gauge metal is a thinner gauge than 26 gauge. 29 gauge is often seen in exposed fastener systems, while 26 gauge and 24 gauge are commonly used in residential applications. Remember, info and content about each topic I talked about is in the description down below. Comment if you have any questions of your own, make sure to hit that subscribe button. As always, I'm Thad Barnett, now catch you next time.